Namaste guys. In this video, we are going to learn how to render an animation. Before I start, make sure that you check out our Twitter page as well, as you will go going to learn a lot of things there. Okay, so let's start. So here is the project that I have made uh, some days ago. If you want to learn how to make this and animate, check out the link in description. Now, what I will do, I will go to the motion study. The animation is already done. It is defined how to do this animation in the previous tutorial. Check out the link in description if you don't know. So if I click on play, uh, you can see this animation. Now how to convert this into a video. So what I will do, after doing this calculation thing and animating it here, I will click on this save animation. Now notice, uh, currently it is saving my animation in a folder called downloads. Okay, you can change the folder as per your requirement, but in my case, uh, download is fine. Let's say video. Okay, so it is now in video. Now, what I want, I want that my animation format will be MP4. You know, it is quite easier to share it with anyone. Now, next thing that I want is the quality of the animation. So, by standard, everyone currently have a mobile phone of 1920 to 1080p resolution. So I uncheck this and give it a resolution 1920 1080. Notice that my whole assembly is currently in the uh, box. Just in case if your assembly you know this piston box outside this uh, pink line it means when it render out that part will not be able to visible. And suppose someone say hey I want to zoom a little bit. So how can I do it? So first close this, watch this carefully because it is a common mistake done by many people. So I zoom in, notice that the piston is not showing here. So it will be issue when you try to render it out because it will be invisible. Plus when you know it moves, as you can see, it's uh, back out. So it, that is also issue. So make sure that your whole assembly will look in your workspace. If it is not, then it will not be rendered okay some part will be skipped now click on save animation select the folder where you want to save it select the file format in which you want to save uh, i will create 1920 by 1080 now it is asking for the frame rate in my case 30 is fine you can choose 60 or whatever you want but always remember higher the frame rate higher it will take the load on your pc so choose wisely and in frame output choose the entire animation now click on save just you guys know that the simulation is already done in my pc so it will done in less time but in your case it might take a longer time so do as per your requirements so as you can see it is currently rendering out Now I am in video folder. Notice this is the file name that I saved. So if I double click on it, so this is how my animation looks like. Looks quite good and you know easy to shareable. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.